So about 90 days ago, I started using an at-home EEG headband called the Muse S. I wanna share some of the features of it with you. I'm also gonna share any pros and any cons and just what my experience has been. The company sent me a sample product about 90 days ago, but they have had absolutely no influence on the content of this video because I am here to share with you my honest thoughts, opinions, and experiences. With this device, you have one sleek, comfortable headband to wear, and you can monitor your brainwaves from the comfort of your home with a very advanced app that goes along with it. The Muse S is designed to guide you through meditations and sleep, giving real-time feedback on your brain activity, heart rate, breathing, and body movements. All of this is paired with their app to personalize your experiences. There is a free app and a premium app that has more features. On the screen here, I'm showing you what the premium app looks like. On the bottom, you can see the menu for meditations and sleep. You can access all of your data if you click on me in the bottom right. Now this device has been involved in over 200 studies, exploring everything from states of consciousness to neurological disorders and different aspects of your sleep. Beyond the sleep tracking, the device also offers meditation training and tracking, which can be assisted or unassisted, and the app has a vast array of meditation features and options. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of the key features, the standout features of the product. And here you can see my brainwave activity being tracked. It tells you more details on the top about the actual brainwaves that are being used right now and tracked. Also, watch what happens when I blink. Blinking multiple times. There's a regular and a premium app, and here you can see some slight differences in their features. I think it looks like you get a lot of features in the free app as well as the premium. So the price for this is around $400 US. I do have a discount for you and a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but it will give you a nice discount off of that price if this is something that you're interested in purchasing. For certain groups of people who are really interested in tracking their health and interested in getting more into meditation and learning how to focus and improve your concentration and cognitive abilities in addition to trying to track and improve your sleep. I think this could be a worthwhile investment. Just depends on how important these things are and also if this is within your budget. So I don't wear this every single night. I don't track my sleep every single night, but when I'm doing different experiments, then I do it. And last night I decided to wear it and to just try a different type of like sleep meditation. And what I ended up doing is called a digital sleeping pill. So what it is is some sleep stories. You can choose a sleep story and you can go through there and you can listen to a sample, which is so helpful. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. I listened to several different samples until I found the type of voice that I like. I'm very particular. I liked his voice compared to some of the other ones that I sampled. And the story was Alice in Wonderland. It's supposed to be 48 minutes. And I only remember the first minute or something. I've always been somebody who, if I listen to a sleep meditation story, it knocks me out very quickly. It's so relaxing for me because when my son was little, he had some trouble sleeping. When he was around four or five, I bought a sleep meditation and it was called Enchanted Meditations for Kids. I highly, highly recommend it if you have a child who can't fall asleep easily. So with that said, I'm a huge fan of sleep stories. What I've discovered on here is that they have sleep stories and meditations and some of these I believe are called digital sleeping pills, which is interesting. And so what I experienced last night was very cool through this app and I noticed that I fell asleep very quickly and then I woke up from a noise. I woke up and I heard something and then I noticed, I remembered that I was wearing this and I noticed that the sound was off. So I was like, oh, it's, I must have listened to the whole thing. Right away, I started hearing the voice like it was very quiet and it started increasing in volume and then it turned back on and went back into reading me the story. It was very relaxing. I'm like, oh, cool, that's what this is. I didn't even realize that's what this is. And then it did that until I fell asleep. So what's happening is it is responding in real time to my brainwave activity. So when I fall asleep, it slowly fades out and it turns off. When I wake up, it fades back in and it turns back on. 
and I love it. Like I absolutely love it. I think that's so cool. And for me, that's very helpful and pretty crazy technology that we have. So that's what I did last night. And here I'll show you some of the stats from my sleep last night. First, you can see my brain waves here and then the sleep stages. Here you can see my slow wave sleep, which is also known as non-REM stage three sleep. The higher the slow wave sleep, the deeper and more restorative your sleep is. This also tells you the position that you're sleeping in at night. What I find most interesting is how my heart rate escalated around 2 a.m. Then I ended up fully waking up around 3 a.m. I'm trying to figure out what is causing that day after day so I can sleep a little bit later. I went to sleep pretty early last night so I did get enough sleep overall. My main focus has always been on my sleep and that was why I was so excited about getting it. But since having this and also using it for my sleep, I started experimenting and getting more into the meditation features, which I think could be very helpful for me right now because I recently quit coffee and I want some things to help me to relearn how to get more focused and more productive without the caffeine. Here, I just wanna show you an example of what you might experience when doing a meditation. This tells you that the sensors have a good connection and it's ready to go. Settle in and close your eyes as we start the calibration process. Muse is now sensing your brain signals. Allow your body to be relaxed and still. Relax your face and let Muse measure your baseline brain activity. There are numerous types of meditations offered, including mind, body, heart, and breath. When it comes to the mind meditations, you'll be receiving real-time biofeedback. And what I mean by that is when you're doing the meditation, the app in conjunction with the headband are going to be responding to your brain waves and giving you feedback as a result. So everything that you're listening to is going to adjust in response to your brain waves and to your state of mind. When you are deeply focused for more than five seconds, you'll start to hear birds chirping and that will increase in intensity the more that you remain focused. And when your mind starts to wander, you're gonna to start to hear rain in the background and that can also increase in intensity. In addition to that, it also tracks your recoveries when you return back to being focused again. And when you're done with any meditation that you do, you can choose the length of time and you can also stop it at any time. You will have a session report and you'll have logs of everything you've done so you can look at the results of that meditation and how well you did and things you can work on. If you're interested in improving your cognitive abilities, a brand new feature was just released and it measures your alpha brain waves, giving you your alpha peak frequency or APF. You can think of this in a similar way to how your heart rate variability or HRV gives you insights into your heart health. This does something similar, giving you insights into your cognitive health. A higher APF is generally linked to better cognitive function and mental clarity. Lower levels are associated with cognitive impairment, according to research. In this review of 68 studies, researchers compared alpha brainwave activity across three different groups, healthy older adults, people with mild cognitive dysfunction, and people with Alzheimer's. The healthy adults had normal alpha wave levels, those with mild cognitive impairment showed lower alpha wave power, and those with Alzheimer's had even lower levels. Another study showed that decreased alpha peak frequency was associated with aging and with memory issues. This is important because studies show that practicing meditation and mindfulness can actually help boost your alpha peak frequency, potentially helping you stay mentally fit as you age. I think I've already shared a lot of the pros with you throughout this video, so now I just wanna focus on any cons that I've experienced with using the Muse S device. I've personally never had any issues with connections or with the sensors or with my hair or anything like that because I have seen a few reviews here and there where people mentioned issues. Those were several years ago and I think maybe those issues have been resolved. I just know that I personally haven't had any of them. When it comes to the cons, I would say that when it comes to the app, 
showing you your data from different sessions that you've done. I just wish that it was presented in a more like aesthetically pleasing way, in a way that was easier to view. For example, when you look at your sleep stages, it's really hard for my brain to compute what I'm looking at. It may just be an issue with me, but I just wish that it was presented in different ways. For example, with the aura ring, they show it with bar graphs below the uh, first chart, and then you'll see bar graphs showing how long you slept in each stage of sleep, and they're all different colors. It's just really easy to see. I wish they had it a little bit more like that, where it's just easier to view. I have issues viewing it with the lines. If it was more solid, that would be helpful. Now, one other thing, a feature I wish they had was I wish that I could log on to an account area online, so on my PC, so that I could view my data in a more easy to view way because it's really helpful if you are doing different experiments and you're trying to really hone in and zoom in on different time periods to see what's going on with your sleep. Those are the main cons for me. They're very minor. And other than that, I understand that the cost is going to be a barrier or a setback for some people. Personally, I know that uh, it's hard to justify paying for monthly subscriptions for a lot of things nowadays because those can add up and it gets kind of overwhelming if you have subscriptions here and there on all over the place. And I'm very selective about monthly subscriptions that I do pay for. I have to really, really use this product and really get benefit from it. And honestly, I feel like if this is a strong focus for you, improving your sleep, meditation abilities, cognitive abilities, ability to focus, concentrate, all of those things, I feel like it could be worth it for the upgraded premium app. At least for a time period, you could try it out and see how you feel. I haven't used the free app, so I really can't compare it. I may really be happy with the free app as well but I'm gonna to have to try that in the future. Uh, for now, I've only used the premium app and I just know it is so packed full of information and tutorials and so many different options for you if you are trying to dive into improving your focus and meditation and sleep. So that's what I've experienced so far in using the Muse S headband at home over the last 90 days. I'm gonna do follow-up videos in the future. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.